I'm gonna go through 10 secret tips to using Facebook that a lot of people don't know about, power users know about them. Now you probably know some of them, but hopefully there's some that you don't know and this may be able to help you be able to use Facebook a lot easier as well as if you're working to build a business, this will help you so you're not missing business, but you can control who sees your content, what ads you see, and so many other things. So I've got 10 tips that I'm gonna share with you. There's a lot more, but I'm just gonna focus on 10. So I've got this weird angle right now because I'm gonna be kind of flip-flopping back between saying hi and then putting you to my computer screen. So I am going to be filming my screen so you guys can see exactly where to go to be able to see these 10 magical features and the benefit of using them as well. My name's Christine and I am a fitness professional, but my full-time career is as an online coach. So I am aligned up with Team Beachbody, which is a major health and fitness company. And I've always wanted to, because I've been in the fitness industry for 25 years. But when I was like younger in my budding 20s and stuff, trying to really build my fitness business, I always wanted to become a sponsored athlete. I so wanted to be like a rep for a supplement company or a clothing line. I totally wanted to do that. Well, this is kind of my way of doing that. By being a coach with Team Beachbody, I've aligned myself up to a company that I love. I've been recommending their products right along and I know that they work and I use them myself all the time. So it only made sense. But being in fitness, it really made a lot of sense because I was already helping a lot of people in their fitness journeys. But I don't need to be sponsored to make any little bit of money. I make a lot of bit of money by being a coach. And that's because I've been able to build a team of other people who are like me, who love to help people, love to live healthier and have more fitness in their life and more joy in their life. So if you want to find out more about what coaching is and if this is something you could do, totally go and email me. You can email me at christine at christinedwire.com or you can go to thecoachedge.com and I have some videos there that tell you what coaching is all about, even how you earn money and all of that type of stuff. But I'm always looking for new people to join my team so I can mentor them so that they can change their life and really start to make a big, huge difference as well. So the first one, this is one that um, is fun and it's some secret emojis that you can do on your desktop. So I'm just going to flip over to my Facebook page so here's my Facebook page, and I'm just going to show you guys, if I can zoom in a little bit, boom, there we go. So I'm gonna just type here and show you some of the different emojis that you can do, and that will be a way you can use your keyboard. This one is going to be a thumbs up. So let me put, let me put thumbs up, so we all remember, oh, if I could spell correctly, right? thumbs up okay and then this one i like it is going to be where did that key go oh there we are Whew. late at night does anybody know what that one's gonna be do you know what this gonna be this one's gonna be a shark all right next one is going to be boom oops wrong one boom you see what that is that one's gonna be a robot. And then this one is going to be a fun little one as well. We got that, we got that. And it's like when you're trying to do something special, you forget what your keyboard looks like, right? That's gonna be a penguin. And then everybody's favorite. Guess what that's gonna be? All right, so let me post this to my wall so y'all can see it for a second, and then um, I'm gonna delete it because everyone will be like, what are all these emojis on her page for? So do you see? Thumbs up, shark, robot, penguin, and poop or chocolate pudding, whatever one you wanna say. I'll just leave that up because I'm just using my page as, as a viewer. All right, so that's the first one. I'm gonna save one of the best ones for last because I had it as number one, but I'm like, I am so silly. Why do I have that as first? You guys are gonna hear it and then leave. I can't do that. All right, so the next thing. Say for instance, 
you are scrolling on someone's page. Of course, you're on mine. I know you're always on mine. Thanks. Okay, so say for instance, you were on someone's page and they had something up there that you were like, oh my gosh, I really want to remember this or I really want to read this later. So say for instance, you came across this amazing workout video that I did the other day and you really wanted to save this to do later. Everybody's post, you just click up here at the top. I can save it, save the video. So when you hit save the video, this will save your video, this video on this person's page. So if I really wanted that workout that I did over here at the playground, it puts a little asterisk and you can save it and do it later, okay? So that is tip number two. Here's another great one. This one's a great one and I'm just gonna switch it over. This one is to download all of your Facebook. So you, I, you know what? Here's the secret. I kind of look at a lot of Facebook is like, it's our, it's our chronicles, it's our diaries, it's our, our National Geographic, it's our documentation of our day-to-day -day life that we could just go back and review. But when you put all of your content up, they own it now because you've given them that right. You signed the terms of agreement that you said, yeah, you can own it now. If you ever wanna download all of your content, you can. Up here, you can see, so you're gonna go down to settings right here. And then you're gonna come up to this page right here. Do you see it? Now, depending on how long you've been using Facebook, this may take a billion years to do. So maybe do this when you're about to go to bed, you know, but um, it will take a long time. But download a copy of your Facebook. Boom downloaded all right next while we're here we are here in the settings another thing that you want to set up which is is gonna happen guys I'm just gonna you know I'm not being morbid here but you're gonna die you are gonna die sometime or another you don't know when God knows when you're gonna die what happens to your Facebook when you die well you can tell Facebook what to do with it when you die and it's called the legacy so it's kind of weird i mean um you know when someone has died and their facebook you know is still there it's a hard thing i think especially if it's someone close you know when their facebook page is still there so what you do is you go here to security and you see rate legacy contact so legacy contact is where you're going to basically tell Facebook what to do when you die. What do you want to have happen? So I gave my husband the control to manage my account after I die. And, um, you know, they, they have that basic choice of what you want to do with it. You can have annual reminders so that you can cha uh, change it, you know, if you change your situations. But legacy is something you definitely want to set it, set up. Since we're here in the security section, you definitely want to see and set up two-factor authentication. So now, I know you think that, oh, I'm nobody, I don't have much of a following, people won't care to hack my account. It doesn't matter if it's actually you're an easier target if you don't have a following or if you use this more like a novice you're an easier target because you're more accessible and to hack you they can take complete control over your life in multiple ways that you can't even imagine it's called the dark web my close friend Shalene Johnson had it happen to her and uh, Darren Natoni he was a uh, ex what is a federal agent of some sort? I can't remember his exact title, but he trained on this at uh, the conference that I hold called the Platinum Edge. He really did say that if you don't think that you would get hacked, you are an easier target that you could really get hacked. You want to set up two-factor authentication. What it means is um, if someone is logging into your account from a different device that you haven't, so say for instance, you're visiting uh, grandma in Idaho and you didn't bring your laptop and you log into Facebook from her computer, basically it would then warn you and say, um, you have to enter a code and the code would be texted to you. 
and you then have to have your phone and then put the code in to basically say, yep, this is me. Can you let me in? And it's something you want to set up on everything. Your Instagram, Google, seriously, that's a big reason why I'm gonna suggest that you really use Gmail because uh, Google is really strong in this area. It's one of the stronger areas. Down at the bottom of the screen right there, the login approvals, it says that you want to require a security code to access your account from unknown browsers. And you can set up your phone number right there. Definitely set that up because if your social media gets taken control, you, you don't even know the bad that could happen. So with Shaleen, if you didn't follow that when it happened to her, they were uh, threatening her kids. They were sending pizzas to her house. They know everything. So if you think they don't know, like I don't have my personal information on Facebook. My address isn't on there. Well, my address isn't on there. My real email address isn't on there. I use a junk email address for my Facebook account login. So that's the other thing is you just wanna make sure that you're protecting all that. All those little quizzes that people put up on Facebook for fun, like what's your stripper name? What is the name of the street that you grew up on? And what was your first dog's name? And that's your stripper's name. Well, isn't the street you grew up on or isn't your first pet some of the security questions to getting into your email when you forgot your email or your bank. Hi. So all those questions that ask all this, the fun games, those are simple. You're basically handing over the access to be able to get into your account to the dark web because you already gave them all the answers. And so all they got to do is say, Ooh, forgot a password. And they go through the process and they answer the security questions because you just gave them all the answers. So notification. So, I mean, of course you wanna know when I go live. I know you do, thank you guys, I appreciate that. But outside of myself, if you wanna know when someone goes live or just to really make sure that you get their posts, like, because the, the number changes, I can't say it exactly because uh, Facebook controls, obviously, the algorithm of when you put up content on your newsfeed, who's gonna see it? And there's a lot of background as to why your stuff will be seen on the, the news feed. There's a, there's a lot of science to this. And this is the stuff that I study. So obviously as a coach, so obviously I talked about being a coach. Coaching is not for like no brainers who just love to work out and, and eat healthy. Woo. No, like you are a serious business person. The way I look at it is, I mean, if you want to make serious money and also seriously change other people's lives, then you look at it seriously. So I am constantly studying um, how to utilize social media, how things change, marketing techniques, um, so many different things. That's, that's my role. My role is not to teach someone how to sell Shakeology. Duh, that's dumb. Um, that basically is what I really focus on. But the algorithms change all the time for Facebook and you have to stay on top of it. So there's a lot of variables as to why your stuff will get seen. And I mean, I could spend a whole training on that, but that's what I'm talking about. The people who work with me as a coach know this information because of course I got to share exactly all this brain holds to the people who are going to benefit from it. And those are the people that are directly working with me. There's but one thing to really consider. They say 16%. So 16% of the people that follow you are actually seeing your content. And it's also the luck of the draw of when you put it up and were they on at that time too. So if you have, you know, X amount of people divide that up into about 16%. And it's honestly, I think less because it's constantly changing so much that that's how many people are actually seeing your stuff. So if you really want to make sure that you don't miss certain people's information, live streams or whatever, then you can set that notification that you can be um, notified when the person goes live or to see their stuff first. If you don't want to miss the stuff, the live things, so what you would do is to the people that you want to make sure that you don't miss their information. And obviously, I don't think that you would do this for every Joe Schmo. I mean, obviously, if a person is um, someone you definitely want to make sure you don't miss, uh, they're an expert in the field of whatever you follow. Um, it's your favorite fast food restaurants page, you know, whatever it is they probably have a page. They wouldn't be using a personal profile page. So you definitely would go to their like button right here and you can set this up that when you log into Facebook that their content is whatever they post is first on your newsfeed. So you don't have to scroll around to see it. And also you can set up here to set up the on for live video notification. So if you want to edit any of that, all you do, 
here you go. This is a deeper dive. So this is even a bigger way about it. This one's the secret area that a lot of people don't click around. You know, a lot of this stuff is just because we just don't click. We read quickly and we think we know what it's about and we don't look further. And that's usually the problem as to why we, you know, do or don't know things very well. So here is the deeper look into it. So you can actually really narrow it down to what you want to be notified for. So on their posts, get notified when this page posts something new, which is about 19 times a week. Oh, so that's how many times I post. Oh, that's good. Um, you won't see more than five notifications a day. So if I was like all of a sudden obsessively uh, posting one day, you would not see more than five. Like if I posted 10 a day because I was like crazy woman for the day or whatever. But you can also notify what you definitely want to make sure that you see. So you can click what you definitely want to see. And um, when there's events that they're hosting near you, and then again, live videos. So here is also where you can control it even on a different sense, is you can do suggested selected live videos from this page and off for live. So no live video notification. So if you do not like me, then wah, wah, choose that. Otherwise, then you can choose this new live. Okay, let's go to seven. So do you ever wonder why do you get certain ads targeting you all the time well because it's a setting it's a setting like seriously all right let me go there so go up to the top arrow choose settings and we're gonna go over here to where it says ads click on ads right here let me zoom it a little bit so y'all can see it says ads based on my preference manage the preferences we use to show you ads this is where you're telling facebook about you and they're going to basically show you ads about that stuff so if i click on edit it's going to bring up these options here and i can visit my ad preferences and it's going to show you some of my interests which these are true you're going to see that i like a lot of tv <laughs> my interest levels, <laughs> Tosh.0, <laughs> a lot of HGTV stuff. This is my interest levels. So they're going to show me because these are the things that I've put in. And there's more. I mean, we can keep going more and more and more. These are the things that I basically told the world, this is what I love. This is me. And so they basically will use this as a gauge to when someone is running an ad that is in that world, then you will see it. But here's the secret area that you didn't know down here. It says advertisers, advertisers with your contact information. What? Review advertisers whose ads you may see because you're on a contact list they uploaded to Facebook. I'm like, who are these people? So, what like wh what girl plays games i don't play games why am i on that list what is what is street easy i do go to walmart yep chimp change i assume that's something for mailchimp but i don't even use mailchimp i don't chef's feed who's the cook i don't cook do they do they even know me do they even know me i don't cook we eat the same stuff nice t-shirt what t-shirts holland american line never ever have I been on your boat. I don't like cruises. Yes, one is correct. Rick Mulready. And I, he should be here. You know why? Because he's the expert for Facebook ads. Hello. I bought his system that teaches you how to do Facebook ads. So yes, I would definitely agree for Rick. Personal capital. I don't even know what that is. Zillow. I do know because when we were looking to sell our house in New York, we would constantly look at Zillow. And I have no idea what this is, but look at, I can get rid of hide ads from boxed. You can get rid of these people. Like, I don't know Marvel puzzle quest. Come on. Why did you see me in my Supergirl outfit or something that you think that, you know what? So advertisers whose websites or apps you've used. I haven't gone here, so I'm scared. <laughs> okay. What? I did not go here. Lazy, laziest man alive what is that I do use these two I do I don't know 
Like, he's missing his hip. Oh, no, his butt fell off. Huh. I don't even know what that is. Anyway, that's where you guys can edit it. So you can limit, you know, what you're seeing. And um, here's people that I follow. And because I follow these people and other like-minded spaces would show me. And you could just go through all of these categories up here to see and kill. If you don't want to see any of them, so it says you have this preference because you like the page related to Marie Forleo. Yep, I do like Marie Forleo. And so anybody else that is targeting Marie Forleo, I would then see their ads. So those are some things to consider. So let's now go to number eight, which I can't show you because it's on a mobile. This one is only available on mobile device and I believe only available on iOS, so Apple. Um, and that is your ability to send someone a video birthday message on their wall. And I don't know when this was done. It could have changed by now because, again, everything freaking changes all the time. So it's called Birthday Cam. So on your phone, if you're an iOS user, all you do is you go to the person's page. That's their birthday. And you're going to see a blue banner at the top. And it says, do you want to send them a birthday cam? You can record a 15-second video message to them. So definitely cool and different to do um, rather than just saying a text message post on their page going happy birthday have a great day like it'd be cool to send a little you know video message the 10th one let's go through the 10th one ready this one is an achilles heel to a marketers and i'll raise my hand for sure because i i don't use my personal page so let me go to my personal page so y'all know what i'm talking about i don't use it aggressively should i say I will use it every so often. And that's just because Facebook requires everybody who has a business page, a like page, that they have to have a personal profile page first. So I came from the day of, you know, make it a graveyard because I trained with Shalene Johnson and she said, never, ever, ever use your personal page because you want everyone over on your like page. So we made these become graveyards and uh, only built my like page. Well, Pretty happy about that. Right now, you know, I'm nearing um, 92,000 followers on my like page, which is great because that would have never been if I didn't really kind of force myself to give up on this. But there's also then that whole myth of if you're using your personal page to grow your a business that you could be shut down. There's a difference now with it. And I did confirm this with... Um, experts, I don't want to name the experts, but a couple different experts on this, that you will only blatantly be shut down if you're using your personal profile page blatantly for marketing. Like if all my posts were buy this, join this, do this, like per sale, 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 market, 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 product, product, product. So if I was doing that, then I'm risking because I'm using this solely for business purposes. But I can, I can show like this is conversation. This is business success. Um, here's you know a video of my dances that I do. Here's a workout that I shared from my page. You know, so basically I'm still showing life, but I'm not aggressively using my personal page because I don't want people here. I want people on my like page because I can do more with those people over on a like page. Plus you know you're limited to 5,000 friends on a personal page. That's why everybody, by the way, by the way, by the way, if you're a Beachbody coach and you go to top Beachbody coaches pages and say, friend request, why? Why do you think that they would accept another Beachbody coaches friend request? We already know that you're drinking the Kool-Aid, so we don't want to fill our precious one spot of 5,000 limit friends that we can have with another Beachbody coach. We would like to have those 5,000 places be of people that we would potentially want to be working with. So don't friend request top Beachbody coaches because they shouldn't be accepting them unless you are only personally with them, then they may. But I don't, I don't even, I mean, look at these notifications up here. I don't ever. I mean, I, I'll go in and I'll delete the robotic ones or the, you know, ones that are slimy, nasty ones. But um, I don't even, I don't really ever go through them. Every so often I'll go through and accept people that I don't think are Beachbody coaches because obviously I'm looking to build my business and I want to build new relationships with people who 
are not Beachbody coaches because I want them to be with me. I want them to be able to do this life too. So you're going to have um, an inbox still, your messaging. You have secret ones. Okay. If you're using a like page, you have the option to allow people to message you there. I say yes. So because I want people to personally message me, because of course I do, then that means I know I have two inboxes that I need to check. But actually, I've got four. Two and two. Like that. No, I'm not a Star Trek fan. Two and two. <laughs> two are on the personal page and two <laughs> on the like page. Let me show you where they are. There's a secret one, and it's the spam folder that a lot of people don't even know. Why do the messages go there? Because if we're not friends and I send you a message, it's gonna go there. That's it, okay? So I always comment to people when they're commenting on, like say for instance, if you are on this and you want to find out more about being a Beachbody coach yourself, if I said, hey, just put, your, put in the info, coaching info, like in the comments, Put in the comments if you, like I'm legit telling you now, if you legit wanna know more about being a Beachbody coach yourself and you want me to kind of share with you some information about it, in the comments put coaching info. So just write coaching info. I now will go look for those who are saying that and I'll message you. But because we may not be friends, my message may go to your spam. And if you aren't a power user, you wouldn't know to look there, okay? Let me show you where they are. So you're going to click over here to the messages. This is the message area for a personal profile, profile page. Now, it always pulls up like this, and I don't like that. So I'm going to just hit see all because I want to show them this way. All right. So now I'm just going to scroll you over so you can see the top part. Do you see it over here? Right here, it says message requests. Right here it says recent. You can do unread. You can mark them all as read. You know, there's all these options. If I click here on more, I can look at all my unread messages. What is filtered? Oh, those are the ones that people send messages to you, but you're not connected. And this is quote unquote the spam area. So you may have a ton of messages sitting in there for business, if you're doing this for business purposes. And you didn't even know about it. So here's one area, you definitely gotta get in the habit of checking all the time. Um, so again, message requests are this area here too, exactly. Wait, this is, language is different. This is it too. Message requests are for people who wanna talk to me, like Venus, I just saw her message here talking to me this morning. She's very interested in any of yo. I am so glad. Thank you, Venus. She is interested in any of my yo. Now, obviously, there's more to the message there. But these are the secret messages. So if you're only looking at your inbox ones, the unread, you won't see those. You definitely need to flip through this area to see all the secret messages. Let me go now show you when you're using a like page that there is a secret area there too. So that's why you have two areas to check. You'll see up here in a like page, this is where you're going to click to get to your inbox. And you can see here, inbox, and then if you pull on the arrow, you can choose just to look at the unread ones, archived ones, which are the ones that you saved, or there's the spam ones. And so now you're just looking at the spam. So let me show you, I'll show you these spams. Look at this, this, this is the funny thing, guys. So I have an auto responder messages, message on my inbox for people. Look at, they think I'm actually talking to them. <laughs> Hunar says, hi, how are you? All abbreviated, here's my auto responder. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Here's another one. What's this guy say? I hope it's not like a bad picture. I did get some nasty ones. But, hi, Chris. Only like two people in the world call me Chris. That's it. So these are obviously junk. Look at, see? 
they'll think I'm replying to them. Like, they're like, oh my gosh, she, she replied for reals? So that was the 10th. The inbox thing is the secret magic me messenger that you definitely want to make sure that you check. So we are all a set. Those are the 10 secret power user areas to use for Facebook. There's probably a lot more, but those are most important. I think that you definitely want to check. Again, if you are looking to become a Beachbody coach or just want to find out information about it, basically, if you love fitness, you don't need to be a fitness professional, by the way, you don't need to, I'm just coincidentally. Um, but if you want to look into coaching, you can go to thecoachedge.com 